Welcome back to my studio. My name is Rick Manners. Um, I can't believe it's been over two years since I did a tour of my collection, so I think it's time for an update. But on this, this quick little view I'm going to show you, I want to uh, highlight some of the custom car builds that I've done. So I picked out six of my custom builds, and I'm going to just do a quick little uh, view on each one of those. You want to see more detail on some of the customs that I've done, go to a website called Joe's Diecast Shack and I'll put a link at the end of this video so you can go and check out some of the builds where I actually show anywhere from 10 to 20 images of how the progression of the car happened, how I design it, and how I build it. So come on with me, let's do a quick little tour of the studio. So we're going to start over here in this showcase. Okay, let's open this up first. Can get a little better view. And on the top here is a 1 6th Liberty Classic dragster that I took. I had an extra 1 6th Liberty Classic uh, Ford dragster engine. And I based this build actually on a cartoon that I had as a kid. And it was called uh, the Triclops. And it was basically one big drag slick across the back and then the front engine dragster. And then so I took that and I found an actual rear wheel assembly that was actually from a, a child's tricycle toy and then I picked out my uh, my front wheels as well I made the frame out of doweling and hard board and then chrome painted the whole thing added the fuel tank um, the roll bar the seat and then the final product is 20 inches long and uh, and it's uh, it, it was a really neat build that I could make use of that that extra engine and then coming down into the showcase there's not a lot that's new in here some extra M&Ms onto my m and down in here. I think the only extra new M&Ms I've got is I took this uh, 124th NASCAR and I actually built a little custom one on that and I'll show that a little bit later in the video. And then you come down into here so there's not a lot that's new in here. Let's go over to the next showcase. This was a really neat one. Now in uh, 2017 I lost one of my very good friends that I grew up with, Mr. Gary Thompson, passed away and uh, he was a phenomenal friend that we've known each other since grade school and he was a Dodge man and I was a Ford and so what I did in honor of him I took a 69 Dodge Charger and a Ford Cobra and I combined the two cars together so I started by chopping the Charger in half and removing the center of it I took the front end of the Cobra and joined all three pieces together and then took a it's a three-tone paint job with the lettering added all the clear coating to it as well and then there's the finished product and then I built the base with my my brother on there and that was the, the finished product. The, show, the showcase down below now I've added a couple of extra new um, muscle machines there's the Richard Petty 69 Dart and down the bottom is the Charger I made that into a pro drag car okay and over to this side here there's not a lot that's new in, in my Gary Thompson corner. There's my buddy with his two cars. Unfortunately, I lost another brother just recently in 2018. My good friend Paul Spiegelberg passed away. And that's him and I at one of our guitar shows. And I miss these boys dearly. Over to this side of the room. Let's take another quick look. My computer center not much has changed in there into my original showcase I actually expanded and started adding more moon eyes cars to my collection so I've had to split the shelf there but what's neat in here on this one and I'm going to do a quick little show on it and that's the uh, the hauler so I actually took uh, I had a whole pile of these fat packs uh, rear wheel assemblies so I took the all these assemblies and I found a Hot Wheels cab that I could use and uh, I took the carrier and I built, built a wood frame with doweling and then there's the finished product uh, so that I could haul some of my Moon Eyes cars around with. Alrighty, over to here, not much new in, in the muscle machines. These are my all my 118s, some of my supercars. I've got a whole wall now of carded muscle machines, some of the fifth anniversary carded ones. Not a lot new in the upper showcases, but down into this showcase I built a hauler. I, had, I showed last time my two. There's a Nova that I've chopped in half and a 69 Mustang Boss 302 muscle machine that I chopped in half and I wanted to build a custom hauler. So I actually had this Mater 
uh, from the, the uh, Cars cartoon. It was an RC truck, uh, qu quite a big size, 118th scale. And I took that and I had these huge Kinex drag slicks. I wanted to incorporate them somehow into the build as well. So I uh, took those two. I had uh, two rocket stands. These were those, those lighting rockets that shoot up. This is the support stands for those rockets. And I used those for the rails for the, the car carrier. And then I added hinges to it, the two-tone paint. But what I wanted to do was actually have the truck bend. And here is the truck bending in half so that the car can be loaded onto. And then the truck levels out and then you're off, you're ready to go. So that was, that was a really neat, neat build as well. Into the main big showcase, there's not a lot that's new up in here. Make a couple of new customs in there. And then down onto here, we've got uh, not a lot that's, that's new over here. A couple of new ones that are added. Oh, there's the guard owl again, making himself known. Over to my Tom Daniels wall, I've actually been able to find the yellow sand crab, which was one of the ones I was missing from my collection. There's all my carded Tom Daniels. I actually took my 118th um, custom build that I did when I was about 9, 10 years old, and I built a, uh, a, a display for it, keep the dust off of it. And over to here, I've actually added, I took all my uh, 132 dinky toy and match boxes out, and I've actually built a stand for them so I can get them all out on display rather than having them into the, uh, the, the rollout cabinets. Over to this side of the room, uh, there's my Johnny Lightning, uh, the gold series of the Fayo Schwartz collection of, of drag cars. My original Hot Wheels, 68, 69, 70s, they're all in there. I've added a couple of uh, the Gas Monkey Hot Wheels, the Midas Monkey and the Hypo Hauler. Up on top here, I've started now collecting the um, uh, Hot Wheels Team Transports. I've got two rows of those. I'm not quite, I've got about half of them, so they keep adding all new ones all the time, so I'm always looking for those to add to my collection. Down here onto the bottom is a really neat build, and this was a 118th Jada uh, microbus, or minibus. I took that Jada bus, chopped it in half, and I had this big uh, Lego engine as well, made out of Lego parts with a working fan belt, and I wanted to incorporate that into the build. So I took the body, the interior, the chassis, chopped it all, shortened it, made it all fit together. I then added fender flares from <laughs> one of my, my big motorcycle pieces that I had, uh, body filled all that, did the two-tone paint onto there, added the wheelie bars, the oversized mirrors, and then there's the finished product. It was a, that was a neat build. Okay, over to here is my um, blue flame set. Now the only thing I've, that's new on here is I was a, able to find on eBay seven original 35 millimeter slides that were shot the day the Blue Flame uh, made the land speed record. So I'm able to get those and I've actually been able to, to print those up really nice images of Gary Gablich and the team and, and people that, that were congratulating him after his record breaking attempt. I had a custom uh, dust cover, acrylic dust cover made for the whole car and I'm going to build a, a custom base for it as well so that I can house all of my Blue Flame memorabilia in there. The stamps and the coins and get that all in there and then back over to the start here I'm working on now a car that um, is going to go into a contest in Toronto and uh, it's a model building group that I joined called group uh, group 25 and they're having a contest where you have to build a car based on a car that was either from the 20s or from the 2000s so this is a late 20s Auburn Speedster that I've chopped all apart taken out the uh, the uh, the rear the, the the actual rear fenders and wheel wells I chopped those off I'm going to build a land speed car but I'm running it backwards so I'm going to take the car and I've added the the canopy I'm, I've used now a 2000s era Lamborghini 12 cylinder engine and got that all to fit in so I'm just at the at the final assembly stages now where I'm adding the airfoils to it and it's going to be a, a really neat build once it's once it's all built and assembled. So thank you ladies and gentlemen, uh, for everyone for, for looking at my uh, video and uh, check out the link at the end there if you want to check out Joe's Diecast Shack and we'll talk to you soon.